Download the All-Star app. Make your picks for UFC fights, challenge your friends, level up and win prizes. Link in description. Get it now. Tom Aspinall, right? Tom Aspinall, who's the UFC heavyweight champion right now. I bet you if you ask some people in the gym if, if they knew who the UFC heavyweight <laughs> champion was, they probably wouldn't know some of them. I mean, he's interim. Interim. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but yeah, no, I agree. No. So Tom crazy. Aspinall confirms he accepted to fight at UFC 300. Stipe. Against Stipe. Stipe and, hasn't uh, confirmed. Stipe, right? Stipe hasn't confirmed. No, Stipe uh, said he's going to wait. Yeah. I was like, what? But that does make sense, man. Like, that Jones Stipe fight is big. It's really big. Is it that? I think a Jones Aspinall fight is, is. I don't know. Bro. I'm just partial to Stipe. <laughs> oh, Stipe is like, oh, like yeah, like, it's forty. Right? The thing, the thing with Stipe is that he's just his career is a lot has had a lot of like just, just stalling. Yeah, like, a lot of quiet crazy. time, man. Just he's just not been really that active. That's like if thing. he was like Stipe is forty one. Yeah, brother. <laughs> but in heavyweight, forty one is young. Yeah, think about it. I think that's like right there. That's like the you know, like other divisions, prime is like 30 to 35. Yeah. Heavyweight is probably like 35. It's like 38 to 45. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? It's yeah. a little longer for heavyweight. Yeah. You know I mean? They don't fight as much. And some fights they don't even take many shots. Yeah. It's just yeah. a knockout, you know what I mean? Yeah. Quick. Two shots, three that's shots. That's like all like because you see like guys, you know, I I I interview guys all the time. And like some guys, like I'll interview, and they're they're like seven and zero, oh, or like they'll be like ten and one, but it's just all first round knockouts. And you're just like, damn, dude. Like, if only I could be so lucky. <laughs> they're just like, damn, how does it feel to like just go in there and the fights don't even last very long? Like the longest fight was like a minute. Imagine like the longest fight you've had is a minute. That's all you know. I don't think that's 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 good though. That's not good. No, it's not good. It's but not good. but at the same time. Oh man, that self confidence. Yeah, you're yeah. Confident. you gonna be, yeah. you're gonna but, be like, yeah, I spark people. <laughs> but, but nah, but the one time you get taken to deep water, you don't know what it feels like. Uh, of course, of course. No, I mean, yeah, but like, yeah, so like, you got a lot of fighters like that, man. Just a lot, and that first loss can uh can destroy you. Yeah, just just so used, and usually it happens the way that they've been doing it. Mm, they've been winning by yeah. knockout, mm. and usually they lose by knockout. You get that crow cop. Yeah, head kick. Yeah, you just like they just the first round. They're like, "Hey, men is the longest fight. You just go right away." You know, yeah. they're just aggressive, and then right there, the dude is ready. He watched all his other. He probably studied every fight, every yeah. knockout, and yeah. he saw him like, oh, "Okay, yeah." He comes in exactly the same yeah. way every single time. Yeah. They're gonna study you, and uh, you're not. You're gonna be too big headed, right? Yeah. You're gonna be like, "Oh, no one's gonna knock me out." I think it's very live and die by ding. the sword, right? Yeah. And you just ding and just you know you do that like. Regal so Mortis. Let me, let me hang my head on the, you know, let me hang my head on the uh, hat rack. <laughs> right? You just do that. So it's, 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 man, it's, it, the, in, in fighting, the reality checks are just like, it's to the extreme. Yeah. You know, there's no other story where the reality check is you maybe waking up in a hospital thinking about like, yo, why am I here? Oh, man. Highest to highs, lowest to low. Yeah. Yeah. Like, just it's like it's crazy too like you know guys like like up and coming guys like guys that are fighting in like smaller countries right where there's like they're just putting on smokers they're just like they don't have no health insurance nothing to like cover anything and and you're fighting and you get hurt like you get broken bones like it's like two hundred dollars yeah guys are getting knocked out and fighting two weeks later exactly oh yeah i'm fine you're like killing yourself you yeah. know what I mean? Like, it's just, there's no regulation on that. You know what I mean? And and so, certain guys, that's why certain guys don't have gyms. Yeah. Because if you did, they wouldn't listen. They would be like, yo, you're not fighting. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And they probably got kicked out of gyms because they said, fuck you, I'm fighting. Like, I don't, you can't tell me what to do. And they just yeah. leave the gym and go to another gym. They're like, nigga, please. <laughs> <laughs> for real. For real. Like, it's, and it's the promoters too. Like, they're just, they'll, well, they just money yeah. hungry. They just yeah. want to. I don't care. Yeah. 
It's, it's pretty it's sad, sad, man. It's pretty sad. But yeah, Tom Aspinall, Stipe Miocic. Is Stipe the greatest UFC heavyweight of all time? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if Francis would have continued fighting, he probably would have become, you know, undisputed, the greatest of all time. But he didn't, he doesn't have the longevity that Stipe has, right? Yeah. And there's one and one as well. Stipe beat him. Yeah. He beat him, right? So it's a it's a wash right there. But uh yeah. Um John Jones at heavyweight. Man, he might never fight again. Yeah, I think that might. I, I actually think Stipe might wait and never have a fight. I I actually think that they might just time out. Yeah, like John Jones just repaired like what his shoulder and then had like surgery on his elbow as well. Like he's not gonna be coming mm. back anytime soon. Shoulder injuries last for a long time. Is it shoulder? Let me see. let me check. I have a shoulder. Was oh it shoulder? no, man. John Jones being who John Jones is. Um, but I don't think John Jones wants to fight like Tom, though. He just, yeah, he doesn't seem interested, right? He, he wants, wants to fight low risk, high reward. Well, he wants the, also, he wants the legacy fight. He wants that. Oh, they, the greatest heavyweight of all time. Stipe, yeah. Stipe, the Stipe fight, like, really, like, it, if you're in Jones's position, right? Of course, Aspinall is very impressive if you beat him, but he's beaten how many Aspinalls has he beaten, mm. you know, versus beating this guy who is literally holds the name, you know, the greatest heavyweight, UFC heavyweight of all time. You want to talk about greatest heavyweight of all time? It's Fedor. Well, I, that's why I <laughs> reworded. <laughs> all right. So John Jones got a. Pectoral, he tore his pectoral muscle, yeah, he right? Did. That's not. And uh, and I was looking on Google about uh recovery time for torn pecs, low grade tear, right? Which he doesn't have because he had surgery, right? Yeah, he had a high grade. So this right? is gonna take at least three to four months to recover from that. Not that low grade? No, oh. for what he has, which requires surgery, right? Because low grade, you only need four to six weeks. Mm -hmm. But he didn't have low grade because he had to pull out the fight, right? Yeah. Um, but yeah, three to four months, and that's if he. Is lucky probably you know what i mean like if he, he could tear it again depends on age depends on yeah. and also that's not even with the intensity of the sport but maybe he could take good steroids now because he's <laughs> just gone so and uh recover quicker take those Mc mcgregor right? roids yeah recovery yeah recover roids. hey he's a he's a heavyweight now too who John Jones. Oh yeah, that's true. Just, well, you just bulk up. Not even worried about yeah. that. Yeah. The... He's gonna come looking out like a GI Joe. <laughs> Who's the black GI Joe? Let me look it up. <laughs> you remember the black GI Joe? Mm -mm. Was Snake Eyes black? I don't know. Sounds like he would be black. <laughs> <laughs> Snake Eyes. Oh, what? Nah, just can't be real. They have Black History Month, GI Joe. Oh my! <laughs> That's God. not real, right? <laughs> they got like a mini afro on them. <laughs> With oh, the pistol. Sorry. I shouldn't laugh. Nah, laugh. <laughs> That's outrageous. That? <laughs> yeah. Let me see this. GI <laughs> Joe, the real American hero. Oh What's his God. name? <laughs> Black <laughs> Dynamite. I, I bet you. <laughs> black lightning. Roadblock. There's a black dude. Black judge code name. Roadblock. Wow. Why is he called And Red Colonel Red Courage. It's like and the, Heavy Duty. It's like the whitest. That's your name. name. Heavy Duty. Heavy Duty. Heavy, heavy Duty. duty. <laughs> and then there's one that looks like uh, Shaft. But maybe that's just something to think Maybe that's his Shaft. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's Shaft. But yeah. So anyways, G.I. Joe. The real American heroes. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so john jones yeah he what if he does come back and he's just like he looks like alistair overeem when alistair <laughs> was doing this thing. uber him uber, yeah. uber john jones. jones walks out just like now he's just you know he can't even move he can't even wipe his own butt yeah like, <laughs> he can only take things out the microwave <laughs> that's it just, just, he's just stuck like that one of those guys that you always want to like uh they put the sticky note between on their back. They're like, 